I want to. I don't want to. Oh. I don't want to comment on the article. So I want to comment on the video and have a discussion. Because she's there's something she says in the actual video and discussion with the student that goes back to a conversation or someone we know that said something similar. And I want to talk about that sentiment specifically. So let me pause this. Turn up the volume. Yeah, I saw this on the news. Yeah, but I didn't. Uh... I already. Let, let, let I'm already gonna tell you. I don't like when I'm talking to somebody about something serious and they smile. So like that that smugness. I just hate smug. Is she smug? Is she gonna come across smug? Yeah, she is. I can tell. She's she's a college pr- professor. I can tell she's like gonna be smug. California I didn't even know she was a professor. So what do you expect? Anyway, so let me give a little backstory before we watch this clip. So, headline: California professor on leave after berating student for calling police heroes. And a. Uh, Adjunct professor teaching her first ever course at a California college was placed on leave this week after she ripped a student during a class presentation because he said he regards police officers as heroes. The unidentified Cypress College educator was apparently triggered Wednesday during 19-year-old business major Braden Ellis' Zoom presentation on cancel culture in the U.S. in which he noted how even animated, animated kid TV shows such as Paw Patrol have come under fire from unhinged cop haters, Fox News reports. A lot of police officers have committed an, an atrocious crime, have gotten away with it, and have never been. And this is when it gets to the. These are quotes now, so let's get to the video. But that's a little backstory right there. So here comes the video. Doc, let me know if you can hear it. If not, I'll put my headphones to the mic. Is the actual video or I'll just the, the interview with the news? Okay. The position should be, though. Ugh. So we're just talking about this video, correct? Oh, that's not the video I wanted. It's, that's uh, what I figured. Yeah. Dang it. Okay, maybe this is it right here. Play patrol. Maybe they shouldn't be heroes. Maybe they don't know what I'm going through. Mm. So I disagree with. I disagree. What Jeremy Jeremy said about it because uh, I think cops are heroes and they have to run because of the jobs that they have. They have to All of them. Life. But I, I don't know. I mean, I'd say uh, a good majority of them have bad people. He's obviously a sensible, good dude. Like he's not. Goes from debating the students to debating the professor. And I say that as a person who has family members who are police officers. Yes. Okay. Now forget the argument. It's over. She just killed it right there. She has family members who are the police officers. So condescending. Yes, they actually do. And she said that just, just, just yep. she's being a bitch. Being smug, like I'll say it, she's being a bitch. Like she wouldn't, call she wouldn't call anybody. No, it gets better. Wait, this is what I want to talk about. What she says next. It's my time to go. That's what I want to talk about. Oh, I know why you should. We did this yep. now. Yep. Wait, what did she say? I didn't hear it. What did she say? Let me rewind it. So. And we should fight for the right for people to say things that we don't even agree with. But we should at least have them on the news. Here we go. What did you call it? Time to go. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to be able to do that. 
God was how much of the atonement of Jesus Christ I should believe. And I know that it's not popular for me to say that to you guys and, and people in here, but that's what I believe the Bible says. Okay, and thank you. I appreciate it. She was being condescending at the Okay, end. I know we're just, I know you want to spoke, I know what part of the video you want to focus on. But can I say a couple of things really quickly? Oh, quick yeah, let's um, go for it. One, the position of police officer, yes, they're bad police officers. The position of police officers should be viewed as heroes because that's what they're supposed to. Like, the, the, way, you're, they're, the way they're wording the sentence, the answer is yes. Because that's what they're supposed to. We're not talking about what the reality or what's going on. The literal question is, should they? The police officers, the position. doesn't say bad people. There's no context about what type of police officers. The position of peace police officers, should it be revered? Should it be, they, they be looked at as heroes? Should they be in children's shows? Answers to all those questions are yes. Why? Because you want to teach your kids at a certain age, young ages, how to interact with police. Like, the good ones, because you're hoping that they're meeting good ones. Obviously, there's other shows that can be geared towards showing a balance of the other, you, side, the of other it, side of things. Side of it. But there should be police. Uh, in young shows, yes, that you can call. Like, we all had to learn to call 911. Like, if we're home alone and somebody's knocking on the door, or a stranger or something. Like, we all had to learn these things. So, for them to say that, oh, and then she just kind of, like, she's not even answering his questions. She's taking away his points by saying things that aren't defensible. Well, I have cops in my family. So does that add any more credence to your opinion about what you're saying? Like, this boy didn't, he's calm, he's collected, calm, collected he's coherent, speaking, reasonable. he's reasonable. He's, yeah, the people who are fucking Well, he's up. the actual teacher in the situation. Yeah, he yeah. really was. He was the teacher, and she was just, like, just speaking out her ass. Like, emotionally, even the, the other the student was like, control. I'm glad you she said. She emotional, and she was just like... Turning, she turned into a donkey, and she was like, nah, nah. Yeah, but not. <laughs> telling him fucking reason after reason, trying to attack him but while he not. was attacking the actual situation. And she's like, trying to corner no, him. This is like, like the context of the situation. Mm -hmm. and she was like, nope. Literally, the end when she's like, I, "It's my time to go." And he's like, "So you're just gonna like, you have these systems in place to to help you, and you're gonna reject all of them and just accept death off principle." That's honestly, I guess now let's get into it. That's exactly what I want to talk about. Cause uh, we have what? Does she go to hell? Does she go to hell? Is that what your question is? Yes. See, that's why I want to talk about it. Cause it goes back to the discussion we had last. I don't know specifically what brought that discussion, but I think we talked about on the podcast was I had a friend. We were having a talk about um, our our uh, Second Amendment rights with guns and how if he was in the situation he was getting robbed and potentially killed, he wouldn't defend himself because of his beliefs, and he like he just. Like he just, I don't know specifically what he believes in, but he wouldn't defend himself. And he literally said verbatim what she said, it's my time to go. And I associated that to a level of suicide. And John argued saying that you can't say that because blah, blah, blah. I don't, I don't remember specifically what your point was, but you say I couldn't say that. But then now we have this teacher. Yes, you said you can't say that. But now I hear her say that again. It's like, I still, for, still. Because my immediate reaction to hearing her say that was, would she go to hell for suicide? That's, that's why when you said that, I, I was like, exactly. I want to hear the podcast exactly, you're talking my, about. I got to go and find it then because, yeah. Because now I don't believe it. Because. I don't believe I said that now. Honestly speaking, like, uh, there had to be more context or something to the situation. Because if you just, if you're, if you're not fighting for the life, you have to fight. That's the whole purpose. You have to fight for, you have to try and live. <laughs> if you don't try and live, you just let yourself die. It's different between sacrificing and. Exactly. Because you're not sacrificing. You're not being you're, a sacrifice. Yeah. But mentally, like, I don't know. You're giving up in my opinion. And that's suicide. But then also. Is there anything to be said for judgment on um, intent? I think when you, that's when you, when, I, you, when you die. I think that's like, I think that's God. what you're trying to get. Oh, for, literally. Yeah, I, think, I think that's what you're arguing okay. was the intent from the God's intent. perspective. Yeah, because you weren't doing it with the intention of suicide. You just did it because your belief was I don't I think the thing I don't, don't want to do harm this person. So I'd rather mm -hmm. be harm caused to me instead. Okay. But that's not sacrifice. Not either. at all. That's not. Not at all. So, so that's re why it realistically, still leads you're more wrong. Suicide but, to my eyes. Yeah, but. Well, if you thought you weren't committing suicide. I've heard this argument too from, from people that are pacifists and uh, it does make sense. Like at the end of it, like you do maintain your ideology, but at the end of it, your ideology killed you. Yeah. Like you Both. pushed yourself to the point to where you weren't willing to save your family to let yourself just die. Like it's, it's like you said, it's not sacrifice. It's self-destructive. It's self-destructive. Self and that makes really you think, what is your ideology at the end of the day? I wouldn't say it's self-destructive. No, How I wouldn't is, go okay, that help far. Me understand. Because you're not, you're not an aggressor. Like, like self-destructive behavior is 
getting in your own way. You didn't tell the person to pull the gun on you. You didn't create the situation the that, for the gun I on sh- you. Okay. So it's not dis- the word destructive is, you know what I'm saying? They're literally pacifist. But you're still getting in your own way because you're preventing yourself from survival. No. You're not protecting yourself. You may yourself. not physically be getting yourself in your way, but you're still preventing yourself from protecting yourself. I feel like I'm, I'm mincing no, no, words. No, well, I mean, we are, but it's important. No, I feel like well, me. I'm trying to find a better way to get the thought across because that's why I feel like it's self-destructive. Because, okay, because so if I attempt to – what if I attempt to, take, to, to try and protect myself, but it still doesn't work out? How is that self-destructive then? That's what I'm saying. The intent was the, por- the, por- the, por- the part. That's what I'm saying. So it's like if the intention isn't aggressive, it can't be d- – like their intention isn't to destruct anything is but my you can, point. You don't have to be aggressive to be self-destructive though. I get what you're saying, but in the situation of a gun being pointed at somebody, okay. Okay. they I got are a gun, not being I got a gun pointed at you right now. I'm not being self-destructive if I don't reach for my gun. Okay, I, I see what you're saying. I just... There's I'm, a layer before that. That's I'm what I'm fair. saying. No, it's a step right. after. I just, I just you're right. I just can't... I know right. what you're trying to get at, but there's a gap that we can't figure yeah, exactly. out the words for. I, I'm, I'm there with I'm you. I'm so lost as to that mentality of... You literally, that like, it's my time to go. No, you're going to die. How do you, with me. Like, how do you know it's your time to go? You just know, like, right there, it's my time to go. You, if you just simply just took a quick dip, dodge, duck, dodgeball, you could have sort of, like, you, I, I don't okay, know. It's just let's, weird. Let's it just seems like a to, give okay, up mentality. So to me. Actually, it's let's like, apply this to other well, parts I also of think life. think that, like, there's an inherent paradox to what they're, she's getting at. So uh, her thing is, like, because of her ideology, she doesn't respect the police or believe in them in any way and Ooh, doesn't think that they're necessary <laughs> because of our country's history first of all we're not the only country to ever been built on slavery uh and i don't think we'll ever be the last one mm-hmm. you know what i mean like china right now is propelling itself through i could be wrong slavery. but i think we also have the shortest history of slavery i mean we're the newest yeah, I mean, it's not pretty. Like, any way you look at it. I mean, like, do we combine no our history with the British it. history? And so, like, we just kind of have to I deal with no. it and move on. It would be, like, the best way of making sure that we never repeat it. Mm-hmm. Fair. Um, yeah, yeah. The, the thing about it, though, is that, like, you need police because it's a society. And so to get rid of them, I understand that they're going for this motion of, like, if we get rid of them, we get rid of our problems. But in truth, when you get rid of police, all we're going to do is fall into a meritocracy an even more violent meritocracy because at that point we take what we want and we defend ourselves and we revert into tribalism and feudalism and then we end up in like a state that's like warring japan you know where we're just like in our groups in our sections we created our own philosophies to defend ourselves and we pushed in on other groups and it's like it's it's like are we trying to revert back to that like for for there to be no cops, like eventually people want order. They're going to gather. They're going to police themselves and they're going to use the police to push out out- outsiders. 100%. We'd form our, regardless, we'd form a police. Like we're, if we took away the police, a militia police, or something like yeah, that. militias would form. Yeah. But to your point, Doc, you made me think of something. She's a hypocrite based off her, like you said, the paradox. She's a hypocrite because she doesn't want to call police because why? They might kill her? That's her whole point. So you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. That's her exactly, whole point. Exactly, yeah. That's, that's the That's the her situation. whole point. It's like, cool, you don't they're call gonna, the cops. Because um, they're going to kill me? But somebody else is going to come in and... Kill you. Push you. Yeah, it kills, can kill you. And then you're going to be like, oh, it's just my time. And it's just like... No, because what's going to happen you, is, I've had a real is you're going to have to give up your liberal mentality. Entire time even so she's well, a leftist it's, it's in like, my eyes. We have leftists teaching our futures. She's gonna have to give up her ideology, buy a I'm gun, sure and is, then defend herself, and then it's just like she'd rather every... die. She clearly said yeah. that she'd rather die. I'm not gonna lie to you. I she is uh, probably liberal or left. No, but but I really I, want to make that I, that, that I, differentiation. Yeah, but every liberal is not doesn't exist anymore. But um, I'm, oh. yeah, she she in this specific example to me is more, and this is not me being sexist. There's more women in that ideology, or more femininity the, in that but ideology. But the male student also yeah, but agreed. he didn't. He didn't press. He was agreeing with his teacher. Because honestly, I have no nowhere to back this up. Because he's a simp in my eyes. He, he looked like just, a simp. You know what I'm saying? He had. The, we're not going. We're not going to judge him. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to judge him. Well, I, I'm sorry. I understood sorry. his logic. So his logic was like the cops don't get there fast enough, and that's a valid argument. That was like, literally you, you make what the he call, said. And then at that point, you sh- you're in a survival state for the next hour and a half. That's literally you what he mean? said. He said, if somebody and points so a gun at you, you're going to grab your phone sense, and call and the cops? People would defend themselves now, fair, but it's fair, like... Fair, Yeah. No, you're absolutely right. I feel right. like that argument was more grounded in logic than just James. like... No, 
No, <laughs> nah, nah, fuck him. Nope. No, nope. not gonna, gonna happen. It's my time to go. It's <laughs> my time to go. No, and, but Dude. I put I associate that with women start to say because that that <laughs> women will actually be aggressors in situations and not expect repercussions. So there's like yeah. a, there's like a there's and it's not all women. I'm not trying to categorize them like that, but there's a gap between actual threat assessment. You said this before, yeah. You know what I'm saying, and, and what's going on. So her just saying it's my time to go is because she hasn't been in that situation. Because somebody points a gun at her, I bet you she start begging. <laughs> you see a whole different tire that she didn't know existed. What happened to your whole argument? Now, if this boy becomes a psychopath, pulls a gun down her and says, hey, let's see what happens now. What do you want to do? Would you like to call the cops? What do you think she would want to do? Call the cops. Okay. That's all I'm saying. I I just, I feel it like it's more like I don't have to. That's a valid point that I, like, you can't, I guess, push it on to, to everyone to generalize. But, like, it is something where it's just like you have a group of people who have grown up. They're protected. Comfortably within a system. And. It's like they reject it because it's all they've known. But should they experience life without the system, then who will they become? And I have no idea. Like for all I know, this woman's like been like. Because I'll tell you, I don't know. She's I'll tell out, you like, what. Helped lepers in some country or something like that. I have no <laughs> idea. But it's just like. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's just like when when shit hits the fan, like. And she's the I mean, she's the least prepared are, for shit to hit the fan well. that way. I'll tell you what, I'm a little prepared. If shit hits the fan. Hey, thanks for watching a clip of Fake Deep Think. And if you like what you heard, be sure to subscribe, like the clip, leave a comment, and check out our page for more content. Full episodes of Fake Deep Thinking are released every Friday on Podbean, iTunes, and Spotify. Peace.